Hey guys, did I have a My Sephora Play unboxing for the month of December? I did a little poll on Instagram and a lot of you guys said that you wanted to see it. I'm also gonna include a little haul in here. I kind of don't have hardly any makeup on. I have like minimal makeup. I just have a light coverage foundation, a lashes on and lip gloss. That's it. So hopefully I don't look like a crazy person in here, but um, my son just went to sleep and so I'm taking advantage to film this for you guys, but I didn't want to do like a full face of makeup. Anyways, so if you want to follow me on Instagram, my link is always down below. I'm always asking you guys for advice or what you guys want to see and things like that if you want to keep up with me there. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into the box. So this month um, says all the face masks. So I'm thinking that there's going to be a lot of skincare in here. As always, there's 80, 50 extra bonus points. Sometimes I use this, sometimes I don't. Lately, I've been buying a lot at Sephora, mostly online. But if you go into store, you can use this and they scan it and you get 50 extra points. And that comes in every single box. So that's a good way to accumulate points, especially now that Sephora has improved their point system. So um, on this little pamphlet, as always, they do say like what products came in here so i'm gonna go through the little bag lately they've um haven't been sending us the little drawstrings they've been sending us this um so here it says open here for warm fuzzy feels and a little something extra and then it just has like the little sephora play almost like in a christmas um sort of theme kind of like holiday kind of inspired pattern i don't know <laughs> so first thing in here is the Rouge Gel Lip Liner, and this is by the Sephora Collection. Okay, if I can, oh damn, I just broke it. And this is in the shade Nothing But Nude. And I was just complaining the other day about how I needed good lip liners because lately a lot of mine have been just sucky. So that is what it looks like. It looks like a super creamy one. So definitely will be adding this to my collection and testing them out. And it says that it has 40 shades available and the full size actually comes with a built in sharpener. So that is super nice. I don't think the mini one does. No, no, it doesn't. Next thing in here is the, what is this? is the Sugar Dream Sheer Pink Lip Treatment. Um, I'm kind of bummed out because I think I've gotten one of these before in my little Sephora play. I'm almost sure that I have. So that's what it looks like. Um, what is blah, 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 I can't talk. Um, I do like these sugar ones. I've never bought a full size just because I feel like they're a little bit overpriced for what they are. So I don't mind having this one. I think I gave away the other one that came in my other box. So I think maybe I'll keep that for myself, especially since I just did a big declutter. Next thing in here is the Brio Gior Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. I'm not mad at this. I absolutely love, love, love this. I love this brand. I've gotten quite a few of their products in boxes and Sephora plays and things like that. And I've been really, really impressed with the quality. Love, love. And it usually smells really good. And I have tried this mask and I really like it. So that is a plus. Oh, this is nice. Um, the next thing in here is the Too Faced Primed and Peachy. It's the Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. I've been trying to try this and the uh, also the Peach Setting Spray. I really like the smell of the peach. So definitely we'll see if this is a nice primer for my skin. Let me see if I can get some out. And it seems kind of silicone-y. And it has that peach smell, but I don't mind because I really like the peach smell. I actually really like the Too Faced stuff that smells. I like the smell of it. Next thing in here is the Wander Glow Glotion Lotion. <laughs> and it says it's a hydrating lotion that delivers a beautiful sheer champagne gold. So Wander Beauty is kind of new to me. I think I've only tried their mascara that came in a boxy charm and I wasn't that impressed with it. It was very drying and was not a fan of it. And then I think in the boxy lux came a little palette. Oh, that, that looks very pretty on. It doesn't look like it has like big chunks of glitter or anything. It actually really just looks like hydrating and almost like a sheer luminosity to it. So definitely we'll be trying this under foundation. 
And last thing in here is the Living Proof Restore Perfecting Spray. It's a conditioning detangling spray. Another brand that I absolutely love for hair is Living Proof, so I'm all about trying this baby out. And that is it for my Sephora Play. I have to say, um, I really like all the products that came in this month's box. Um, I'm not mad at it. I wish a little, a little bit bigger, but you know, for 10 bucks, I don't mind. I pay for this for pay by myself. It's not sent to me or anything, FYI. Um, but I do, I don't mind it at all. Next thing I'm gonna jump into a haul of some things. Uh, first up, I'm gonna share some PR that I got. So the um, PR that I got was from Neutrogena. Um, and I got three things from them. I got the Hydro Boost Multivitamin Booster. I have yet to try this, but a lot of you guys said on Instagram that you would like reviews. So I definitely will be trying and adding reviews to my channel. Another thing that they, set, ugh, they sent me is the Overnight Gel Mask. And then last is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. And I did test this out and I really like how hydrating and just like wet it feels. It just feels like you're just hydrating your skin completely. So I do um, want to test those out thoroughly for you guys. Next up, Pixie sent me a PR package and it had these babies. I actually showed the whole package in my Instagram um, stories and I have yet to use these but does that not look so pretty this one looks just like right up my alley it's like bronzy and peachy and then this uh, like goldy highlight there and then this one is more bronze with pinky undertones and these look absolutely stunning and these are freaking huge look how big that is I feel like this is just like a bronzer, blush, and highlight all in one. And then if you like one of these shades like coral or pink, then you can definitely just pick it up and be set and not have to buy anything else in your collection. So definitely we'll be trying those out and letting you guys my, know my thoughts. Also, I don't know if they're going to be selling this, but this little ring light is amazing. Look at how... I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell, but this thing gets super, 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 super bright. And I like that it even came with a little cable to recharge it. So it's something I can put on my phone and like take selfies with. I thought it was super, super cute. Next up are things that I have bought from different places. First up is something that is going to be something that my mom gave me and it's the Revlon Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. A coworker of mine was raving about this. She bought it. She absolutely loves it. And I was like, if that thing works, then I need it in my life. Because if I can simplify doing my hair, it would be awesome. I have one of those like really heavy blow dryers. It's like one of those salon kind of hair dryers. I've had it for, oh my God, almost like 12 or 13 years it's that good but it's also very heavy and then now with my son it's just like such a chore and like so heavy to do my hair so doing this with this brush is amazing let me know if you guys want like a review or you know like uh, maybe a demonstration demo kind of thing on this I'm not sure if there are on YouTube or if maybe it's already super saturated everybody and their mother knows about this but I just discovered this and this thing is amazing I have already used it like four or five times <laughs> next up I went to Target and got this and I got these palettes from Profusion one is oh okay One's upside down. One is the Metallics and the other one is the Wanderlust. I haven't played with these yet. I haven't even swatched them. I did put pictures on my Instagram and I'll probably put swatches and definitely give you guys my thoughts. Let me know if you guys want reviews or maybe a get ready with me using these. I got these because of two Instagram accounts, which I will leave down below. Um, I don't want to butcher their, their names, but one is like Love Ariana and the other one's like Star Jaw Beauty, I think. I don't know, but I definitely love their accounts. I just like bumped into like one of them. I don't know if she followed me and then I saw her account and like fell in love and like followed her back or I just found her. I, I don't remember, but I love both of their accounts. Um, they give really, really good swatches and are really um, beauty, like die hard beauty junkies. So definitely go follow them. Um, and then I went on a little like shopping spree online as far as like just like random things. Um, there was a sale for Bobbi Brown. I think it was like 25% off. So I went ahead and picked up the vitamin enriched 
face base, the little mini one, they had this one available. And I thought, hey, let me try it, see what the hype is about, see if it's really worth like the big one. So I went ahead and picked this up. Let me know if you guys want a review on that. Also, Too Faced had like 40 or 50% off on one day and it included their primers. And I remember loving, loving this so much. I think I have a review up on it. If I do, I will try to link it down below. And so I was like, yeah, let's just put this back into my collection. And the last two things are things that, um, let me know if you guys want reviews on, is the Morphe sponge. I've yet to use this, but I wanted to see if the hype was real. And the other thing is the Morphe continuous setting mist that everybody and their mother talks about. So far I have sprayed this once and I did like the way it sprays out and mist. I will definitely have to keep playing with it and let you know my thoughts as far as like the formulation and things like that. So that is it. Um, let me know what you thought about the Sephora Play. Let me know if you guys want reviews on any of those products. Thank you guys so much for watching, for subscribing, for just being there. I love you guys to death. I'm sorry I can't always get to comments because I have a hectic life between work, wife, child, and YouTube, plus social media or whatever. Um, so yeah, um, especially this time of year. I mean, who is not hectic? Anyways, love you guys. Thank you guys so much. And if you're not subscribed and you want to keep up with my content, definitely subscribe down below and be part of my little YouTube channel. Love you guys and until the next one. Bye guys.